What's going on everyone, Matesh here, and guys, I promise you I have non-Pixel videos coming very soon, but you guys have questions about the Pixel phones, and since I have a whole bunch of them, I want to try to answer them for you guys. So, the main question that I've gotten in my camera comparison between the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 3 is how much of a difference does the custom silicon that we have on the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 4 make a difference in photo processing times versus the Pixel 4a? Now, the answer is basically it, it takes just like a couple seconds longer. I didn't usually go in much further than that, except now the Pixel 5 was announced and it also does not have the custom silicon that the other two Pixel phones had. The Pixel 3 had the Pixel Visual Core and the Pixel 4 had the Pixel Neural Core and the Pixel 5 has neither of those. So the real question is how much of a difference is processing time going to be for the Pixel 5 and is it going to like slow it down if you're taking like a whole bunch of photos at once, how much is it going to slow it down? So in this video I'm going to try to answer that so uh, without further ado, let's talk about it. Alright, and so for those of you who are really just interested in the numbers, this is the timestamp you want to go to. Just go ahead and skip forward to that. But for the rest of you who want to know how I tested this. So uh, what I did was I did a screen recording on all these phones and took pictures with night sight because night sight takes a long time to process, especially when you have a really dark room. First of all, it takes a long time to take the photo and it takes some time to process. So I did it. I did screen recording. So each one of them is going to take a little bit longer to process than maybe they would naturally because we also have the screen recording going on in the background. But since it's doing it on all of them, I don't take that into account for this. Also portrait mode because portrait mode also takes a while to process. So that's what we're going to do here. So let's just see those results. So additionally, in terms of testing, I also took three pictures with each of the phones. So the Pixel 4a, I took three night sights back to back to back and to see how long the processing time was for each of those, just to take out any variation there may be in some background task or anything like that. So the Pixel 4a took the longest at around eight seconds for each of those on average. And then the Pixel 3 was the next one that I tested and that one was around seven seconds. And then the Pixel 4 came in at around six seconds for each of the night side photos with there being some a little bit of variation between each of them. So yeah, in terms of the overall ratings, um, definitely first of all, night side takes forever to take. And then the Pixel 4a is the slowest. It takes a good couple of seconds extra over the Pixel 4. So that is something to note. And then next up was portrait mode. And one thing I noticed, portrait mode, first of all, much faster at processing than night side is. Um, it just takes a little bit long, less time to take, so that does help. Uh, the Pixel 4a was not the slowest, actually, in this case, but it was around 6 seconds. The Pixel 3 after that came in around 5 seconds on average. And then the Pixel 4, that one turned out to be the slowest one and came in around 6 seconds and something a little bit slower than the... Pixel 4a. So the Pixel 4a was 6.2 seconds on average, the Pixel 4 was 6.7 seconds, and the Pixel 3 was 5.2 seconds. So that goes to show maybe the visual cores aren't really helping that much. All right, so there you guys have it. That is what the difference is in terms of processing times between the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 3. Now, is this enough of a difference? Because as I mentioned, uh, the in the end result, you are still going to get the same pictures out of the Pixel 4a that you're going to get out of the Pixel 4 or the Pixel 3. Maybe just slightly different processing, but it basically comes down to like the same exact look because, first of all, they all have the exact same sensors in the Pixel 4, the Pixel 3, the Pixel 3a, the Pixel 4a, the Pixel 5, they're all going to have the same main sensor. The Pixel 5 is going to have the ultra wide lens, which the other phones will not. The Pixel, except for the Pixel 4a with 5G, that one will have the same camera setup. Ugh, the whole lineup is a mess. But I really don't think the custom silicon won't make that big of a difference in normal day to day use. Unless you're someone who's doing burst photography with your phone it's not gonna make that big of a difference. As I said, in the end, you're still gonna get the same picture out. Now, what's I think more interesting is the fact that they're leaving out this custom silicon, but from what rumors are saying is that the Pixel 6 will have this. The Pixel 6 is supposed to go back to maybe like a high-end slash semi-mid-range high-end thing where they might be doing their own custom silicon completely, which would be really fascinating. They would be going the Apple route where they have their own custom processor and maybe they'll be better um, performance, there'll be better battery life, things like that. Who knows? We're talking about a phone that is nowhere near being announced, so I wouldn't bet anything on it, but if you're thinking that maybe this will happen next year, maybe this is the Pixel generation to skip out. Now my advice would be maybe if you can hold off another year, maybe wait till Pixel 6, but if you can't, if you're coming from a Pixel 3 and your phone's just getting way too slow and bloated, maybe you can actually get the Pixel 4 because now the price has really dropped on that phone. and 
my advice, go for the Pixel 4 XL. Even if you like small phones, the Pixel 4 XL, just the battery is much better. So maybe go with that one. But yeah, for me, I think this year, the Pixel 5 might be worth skipping. But yeah, with that, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like this one if you liked it. Subscribe if you guys loved it. And seriously, I have other videos coming soon. I have the LG Velvet in my house right now. I've had it actually for a couple of weeks now. I've wanted to unbox and play with this, but I've held off because I really want to do this thing justice. And I don't want to have the Pixel 4a looming with my review of that coming up. So I've held off on this. Now, that video will be coming soon. So please hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you guys don't miss that. But with that, that's pretty much it for this video. Like this one if you like to subscribe. Did I already do this? I already did this. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.